Oh, hi, I did not see you there. What are you doing at the world premiere of Resolution? Woo! Woo! So, so this is it, actually. This is, we've got, uh, we've got Ryan, and Maddie, and Cameron, and Rory, and Ross, Sweet. and Ryan. And uh, hopefully more on the way. Probably not, though. Um, so I thought we'd, I'd do my opening speech thing uh, on the vlog. Uh, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Hang on. Is there a way to get all of guests? Oh, there totally is. Ah. Uh, Death. Death. Speed. Death. Compositions. <laughs> Alright, so how's it going? For those of you who don't know, no, no one. Uh, this is uh, my name is Miles Hughes. I wrote, directed, shot, edited, did some of the music for, and acted in uh, Resolution. Uh, also joining us is uh, our uh, two people who worked on the film, uh, Mr. Ross the Boss Berman, who uh, contributed uh, to the score. If you're trying to figure out which bits are him and which bits are me, uh, his are the good ones. And then um, Miss uh, Maddie Schiller, who, uh, who provided a wonderful vocal performance. It's around 12 minutes in, you can't miss it. Um, and uh, uh, a little bit of background about the movie. This is basically um, every summer for the past, since I've been coming to Columbia, uh, I've done a film um, with me and my friends uh, at home in Bethesda, Maryland. And uh, so that's Dangerous Privilege, Patterson, Colorblind. Um, but this summer, I wouldn't have been able to because uh, my parents moved to Florida. So I figured, uh, me and my friends figured we'd get one last hoorah and get this done over winter break, and it actually ended up being longer than any of the previous films I've done. Uh, clock's in about 48 minutes. I wrote the script in about two days, and it's about 34 pages long, so you can see we really stretched it out. Um, and then um, it's not terrible. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, be the judge of that. you guys can be the judge of that. Uh, I gotta answer some questions real quick. Oh, yeah, I gotta correct my answer. Yesterday's question with Tucker, um, chickens and lips. Uh, the act I, I, I misquoted the question. Oh. The actual question was, um, if chickens, if chickens had, had lips, yeah. would they be able to whistle? And no, the answer. We still answered that because our thing was they can't whistle because they're too dumb to whistle. Ross says they're too dumb to whistle. I say they could. They could function, on a physical think, level, they could pull it off. They would just never think to. One, it would look considering... weird, and two, they wouldn't know what to do with them because they're dumb. Considering chickens have lived for over a year with their head cut off. This is true. Why don't people give chickens? People don't give chickens. Okay, we're going to say yes because they have lips, <laughs> but no because they're too stupid. Uh, and then today's question was, um, ah, it was something like, if, if you were given all the money in the world, would you have sex with Snooky? Oh, yeah. Something like that. All the way through to a kiss. On all the, the three, all the way, like flirtation, foreplay, etc. What do you guys think? And hurry up, my battery's dying. I'd say no. No. How much money? Like all of it. How many, How much drugs do we get? Like, there's <laughs> I think the answer is no. I think the answer is basically no from all of us. All right, we got to go because the battery's dying. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, these guys are going to give you their thoughts if I ever vlog with them again. Um, <laughs> and uh, all right, uh, so take it easy. Thanks for watching and moin. <gasps> Yeah, we, no, I just... Thanks for watching, Moin! Ah!